And I was like, and, and people were just really bad. Like, well, I, I did not. I just went along with him because he's old and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but when we get there, we realize, we're like, oh, this is a perfect show for a perfect person to have on the show. And it hit me most when she started making those connections. When she started saying, She was the one who was bringing oh, it up. Oh, so that's the same with you guys in martial arts. Yeah. And, and we like, do that here in music. And oh, yeah, it was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Cause and, she, and I, I was... I was like, yay, I actually did something good. <laughs> you know, because I, I, again, folks, I thought long and hard about having a musician. Right. You know, that, you know, a doctor in, 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 in music. To, Which to I come didn't up. know was a thing. Yeah. And, and for her to come up and say and repeat and, and, and acknowledge, mm -hmm. you know, that the we The correlation. Were, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, yay yeah. for me. Well, because so. it's things that people don't really think about, but... Right. When when we break down the blade in mind, it really is all about learning. It's like how right. do you learn something? How do you learn something up here that then comes out right. here? Right. And, and I've always been saying that you know, before you can get it physically, right. you have to get it mentally. Yeah, because you can't just jump on a keyboard and start pressing keys, right. get a good rhythm, and all of a sudden then learn the sheet music yeah. and then the tones. It's like no, you have to learn all that information first, and then be and able then work your way. See to if that. it can. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so that that was a lot of fun, and and that was that was one that I really liked because of what it, it gave us. Yeah, you know, and, and how we really got to see that. Now, what one guest that we did have that had nothing to do with anything, nothing at all, other than me just geeking what, out, geeking out, and just having a good time with it was um, Tian Liu, and this girl, <laughs> amazing because um, yeah, she opens your eyes to how to see things. Yeah, right, because she's a cinematographer, so. It's uh, all about the visual. It's all about the visual, and and for for you to you know to really wrap your head around this is that you're looking through the eyepiece of a camera, mm -hmm. and what you see is whatever is there in front of you, but how you then use that to to make a story, to tell the story, to tell the story. It's yeah, just amazing. And she's not the director or anything, but she's the one who actually carries the camera. Well, she's the director of picture too. Of uh, pictures yeah. that that you you. The images that you're going to get are the things that are going to fill your head about the story that you're mm -hmm. you're about mm -hmm. to watch, and 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 I've always been liking films, and I and I love. Well, a little background on him: he he's a he's a writer. He he has been writing since he was in high school. He still doesn't let me read any of it because he's embarrassed. Um, <laughs> I just don't want you to steal my stuff. <laughs> I don't know. But, well, actually, yeah, I, I flat out told him that I'd take some of his stories and I'd publish them, and I might give him some of the royalties. Five <laughs> um, percent. Five percent. That's good. I'm, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> but no, he's he's good at spinning information and being able to convey feeling as well as the sensation of what's going on. So for him to, you guys just need to watch the episode yeah, just, and just look at his face and he just has this like I'm like in a candy store. Yeah, he's like, I'm at a toy store. Like oh my god! I just step back and I'm like, you guys do you because I'm I'm lost. <laughs> but for me, I, that was my that was my very 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 favorite uh, show just because it was about me. I say one of your favorites. Yeah, one of my favorites. One, one of, of my favorites. Yeah. Now the the big prize on that weekend. Oh, um, was uh, the episode that we are showing now, folks? He or... said it, not me. What? Big. Pro I think that each one of them had equal amount of just Dude. <clears throat> grandeur in in, yeah. in in my perspective. Okay, I'll give you that. But when it comes to the combative aspect of things, when it comes to just the the straight okay, get the job done mentality of martial arts. Nicholas Moreno. <clears throat> but it's not even so much of, of just that part of it. I, I think it's the way he sees things. Uh, oh, yeah. He definitely I, has a I, unique think, way of... I think how he saw the geometry in yeah. martial arts, yeah. which a lot of people overlook. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry to say that to some of you guys who think you do. Um, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he said it. He no, but it. because he takes it to the... You know, to that level of, no, you really have to look at this and understand what's going on with the it, body. It's no longer a practice. Right. It's a curriculum. And, and <clears throat> not in the sense that, okay, you learn this part first and you learn this part first and then you get so on and so forth. No, it's more of the <clears throat> true understanding of something, a true study. Right. You're not there to just remember the facts right. or He's, the concepts. Yeah. You're there to understand it because if you can really comprehend what's going on, it will enhance everything. Everything, everything else that you everything, do. Everything, yeah. Everything else. <clears throat> I mean, the way he talks about the water. I mean, in Common denominator. Yeah. yeah. What, right? Well, yeah. What is the thing that, that makes everybody... Everything. Yeah. The, how we all move is based on this one little thing. And once you get that, 
then it doesn't matter how you move. It doesn't no. even matter what system you're using. Mm -mm. You just understand, oh, the body is going to do this because it has to. Right. You know, but physical law yeah, tells you yeah. this is what it has to do. Because it can only do that. <laughs> right. And, and, and he takes it to such a level where right. he's like, wow. And and as intelligent as he is, and <clears throat> and I know he's confident in his information. I mean, you can see in the video that he knows what he's talking about. But at no point does he badmouth anyone. And he no, gives dude, the he's... most praise. He holds himself down here and he puts yeah, everybody, everybody else. above him. Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. And you got to admire that about the guy. Especially because he's 6'4". Yeah. <laughs> And he's funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. He is. Like, he we is. met him years ago and, yeah. and just his concepts and ideas and, and really like fell in love with a lot of the things that he was saying. And it enlightened us on a lot of the things we do in the belated mind. <clears throat> you know what I like about it is the way he actually gives you the information. Right. You know, I mean... To listen to me like, oh my God, what's, right. what is he going to say next? Right. Because like, you're like, oh. uh, how much do I owe for this course? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it always feels like that, right? It was like he just taught you a lesson and you're like, <laughs> ooh, freebie. <laughs> like you really have to pay and sign up and yeah, like, okay, think, he's, yeah. he's going to be in this seminar now, on this day. And you, you bring up a, a funny thing huh. and you say you have to pay. Yeah. He doesn't, you know, he, he's, he teaches the military. Yeah. And he Law won't take a dime. Yeah. He, he won't, won't take, take a dime. dime. And that's admirable. I, I love that. It, it, that blew it, me away when I heard oh, that. Oh, yeah. No, it, it did me too because I thought that was his main His job, right? Income, yeah. His income. It's not. No. It's, I was like, wait, you don't? It's like, no. No, the, yeah. you know, he, he believes so much in in the cause and, and why people sign up. Uh, you know, <clears throat> politics aside, well, what people decide to do and, and put themselves in danger right. for their beliefs is is admirable to such a degree. And he never served himself. No, he's, he's never in the military. <laughs> but he's giving back so much because yeah. this information, oh, I think is, is gold. And it's what's going to push the martial arts. Right. Into the next generation, into uh, oh, the future. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It, yeah. It, it's needed. It's and it again, and we wanna we wanna emphasize this because he emphasized this point is that he's not in any way trying to take away from the traditional arts. As a matter of fact, he believes wholeheartedly and convinced <coughs> me. I don't know about you. Oh no, no, definitely. That uh, we need the traditionalists. We need those <coughs> that carry the torch for the traditional arts because they're the ones that are going to incorporate these ideas and pass it on to the students. He's just trying to create a language that we can that all everybody can understand. With. Right? Yeah. What do you call them? A, a moving linguistics? <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a linguist. A yeah. Linguist. How cunning of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are the uh, master debater so i am <laughs> i guess you've made your point i did <laughs> just a tip sorry folks it's derailed so fast we were on such a we're good, doing so good we were so good we were poignant we were yeah. we were passionate you know one oh. of the other people that we had on here that really blew my mind um was uh scott for 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 ferrari Ferreira, uh, dude, this guy, another uh, educated man. Yeah, I mean, talk about seeing through the bullshit. Oh yeah, definitely. Right? And, and just really focusing on what really is important. Yeah, his insight on, <clears throat> on 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 the matters of actual self defense, like when right. you find yourself in a sticky situation and being able to stay calm, collected, understand the situation yeah. and make the yeah. best choices possible. And, and and obviously de escalate as much as possible. Oh yeah, yeah. Like he His just grasped hey, that's on... a lovely shirt you're wearing. <laughs> oh, and when you oh. guys are battling that you're like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> we were giving each other compliments. Yeah. As, as you were yelling at each other. We were <laughs> but the, no, see? And and that's what you remember. Yes. But if you if you watch if you listen, that again, yeah, yeah. our tone does not go no, up. No it's just this kind exactly of the that, physicality yeah. behind it be, becomes yeah. that uh yeah. you know banging on her chest thing so it felt <clears throat> like we were yelling and we were really but we were like hey right. man i like your haircut <laughs> it's like it was our tone that really kind of right. changed in the inflection it, it, but but that stuff was just amazing to hear from somebody who obviously has lived it through yeah. the stuff that he was a probation officer oh, yeah. who who ran around town and, and really tried to 
you know, make friends. Well, he ha- with uh, not very nice people. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> some amazing shit. Yeah, and some people that not nice or 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 or, or bad or anything. They were just off the rocker. They just you know fifty one fifty. Yeah, you know medical issues, but just as dangerous. Yeah, and, and it was just fun to listen to. To how he looked at things, and, you know, and, and he he resonated with some the stuff that nicest we did. dude, the like, nicest the dude, yeah, nicest like all the stuff that he went through, all the things that he experienced, and wasn't jaded. Has no. this, no, this not very all. cool, calm, collected. Just met him that day, but we're like best friends. Yeah, already. yeah, we we yeah, that was a, that was a fun conversation. Yeah, also needs to come to the the picnic. <laughs> picnic, <laughs> come to the picnic, <laughs> folks. This this babble you're hearing about the picnic. Uh, we've decided to have a, a guest appreciation picnic. Yes, for for all the guests that have been on our show, and that's family. a lot of people. <laughs> Just these past three months. <laughs> yeah. So if you tack on for the whole year, holy shit, we oh, might have to turn some of them away. We have been doing this for a year, huh? Yeah, it's folks. A it's been a, a full year. year of colleague conversation, and thank you all for thank for you actually supporting us yeah. for, for keeping us on the air like this. Otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We, if this Honestly, wasn't fun, yeah. folks, we would have been gone. We would have after been done so long. Five ago. episodes. <laughs> yeah. No, maybe like seven, because it wasn't until like the sixth episode that we had our first guest. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> dude. Um, oh, that was a long time ago. You, you know, folks, we wow. really um, appreciate the people that who keep coming back and watching these shows. Yeah, you guys. You really, know, we, we <clears throat> when, when we first started this through our good friend Dennis. Duarte. We still blame you. I mean, still, it's a yeah, good blame, but... Still on you, bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, but because of him and, and people like Mark Cardenas, who, who oh. said, you know, um, it's something that's for the community and yeah. not really for you and I. I, I you know, I, I I hadn't thought about it that way. I, I, I thought we were just selfish bastards trying to get in front of a camera. <laughs> you, maybe. I'm just here because I'm pretty. Um... <laughs> And a liar. <laughs> and a liar, apparently. <laughs> I'm pretty good at that. He taught me. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, but no, I, I. for me, it's just something that's really fun. I get to meet some incredible people. Dude, the people that we have met. I have I get to have fun conversations with them. I get to learn so much. I, I get to... <clears throat> Where else would you be able to train with grandmasters, uh, yeah. world champions, right, right, uh, right. PhD? Yeah, yeah, uh, crazy, crazy. Just so many people that I, I would have never imagined to have met or right. even you know get to have an extended conversation with. So for me, it's that. But I'm slowly starting to see what 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 Mike was talking about in, in creating the community and. <coughs> I'm I'm starting to feel responsible for. Oh yeah, there's definitely that, that for sure. There, yeah. there's a lot of that, and that's why I, I really don't want to miss a week of you know of making sure that we we haven't missed a week, folks. Yeah, we've been here every week and every week, you know, uh, since the very beginning. Yeah. Oof. It took a while to get the whole every Sunday thing, but yeah. we we've been here every week. Yeah, we have managed to pull it off. I have no idea how, <clears throat> honestly. <laughs> Like, just today we were talking about it, and it was like, dude, it's been three months since the last time you and I... What? Three months? Yeah. I was like, no, so much has happened that we, I just... <clears throat> you know, who who else have we had on the show that, that really... You, you know, know who, who really kind of... Who, who I just have to mention is Miss Rhonda Collins. Dude, she was awesome. Oh, corrections officer for Talk about the shit that years. she goes through, but yet she's so bubbly and happy and, and cheerful. Curse. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't curse. Does not curse. She is just the nicest and and, and most loving lady. Uh, right. Mother of three, I think. Right. Married such for a badass. So, oh God, yeah. <laughs> she handcuffed her her six son. foot two son <laughs> outside of a, a of a, a grocery store. Yeah. yeah. The While she went shopping because he was trying to badmouth her and yeah. she wouldn't have it, so she handcuffed him and picked him up on the way out. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh my god, that was so much fun. Uh, right? Talking to her was just so uplifting. Oh, yeah. you know what? Yeah, we right? we we really started believing in heroes when when yeah. we talked to her yeah. because just the her character and the story she told about the people that she'd helped in, in that were in the system and how those people were like oh Miss Rhonda yeah you know in front of their homies in yeah. front of like the and gang care if they, and they didn't care if they looked yeah. like pussies. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> 
I, I didn't no, mean no, that's no, that's no. a bad turn of phrase. <laughs> they didn't look like sissies or little <laughs> yeah, boys, yeah. like children. I'm not making yeah. myself any, no, any no. better. No, no, no. Anyways, your hole. Digging shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't care either. Yeah, they still in the middle yeah. of a block because would of run what she up had to done her. For them. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. I, you know, those are the things that that you start to appreciate about people in law enforcement. And, oh yeah, and, and how they have to carry themselves, but yet these particular ones, you know, Ferrari and, and, and this Ronda, yeah. I mean, just really takes it to another level. Yeah, they, they, I mean, every day smiling. Like, how do you, how do you do a job no, that's stressful? Yeah, where, where these guys are killing themselves, beating each other down and whatever else, and yeah, then you walk into High it suicide rate, yeah. high murder rate. <clears throat> right, right. I mean, from juvenile hall to penitentiary because it just yeah. becomes a career. Yep. And yeah. still be able, and people coming up to them years later saying, "Hey, thank you, you know, for what thank you, did you. yeah, you thank saved you. my you're, life. You're my mom. You saved yeah. my life. Yeah, like, yeah, that's wow. incredible stuff." And her just like, "Uh, <clears throat> my kids are here." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back down. <laughs> Stand down, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just you, you, you got to admire that ab- ab- about her. Yeah, and that was just a lot of fun to to, yeah. to chit chat with her. Now, the 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 one cool person that we also or that I I enjoyed it. Or got a kick out of was um, uh, Von Strickland. Vonique. Monique. Vonique. Vonique. Yeah, um, named after her father's middle name. That's right. Uh, this lady, very unassuming. You oh, look at yeah. her, you would have never thought, you know, you wouldn't think a second. But she is such a badass. Was in the Navy, yeah. learned jujitsu over there from some guy, <laughs> and then met some other guy. And she was other. also a, a bodybuilder. Oh yeah, she was a powerlifter <laughs> and a bo- and, and a model. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. She did the physique. Oh, that's yeah. That was crazy. I forgot about that too, because yeah. I just know her as as the. the and then no she's a techie. Jiu-jitsu. Oh yeah. <laughs> After all she's that, watching, like IT. Yeah, no. yeah, she, she, yeah, she's a techie. Right. Yeah. So she's in front of a computer and kick your ass.